All right, welcome back, everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. If you're new and you like these kind of reviews, consider subscribing. Uh, those of you guys that know, I don't do sugar-coated reviews. Nobody's paying me to say anything. Um, I do work with the company that I'm going to be talking about, but this is not how I started. Uh, just for a little backstory, I started using Tuned Up Custom Rods like eight years ago or something like that, nine years ago. Um, and I wanted, I got them because I wanted a custom rod for ice fishing, actually. Those of you guys that know, I live on the ice usually. Those of you guys that are new here, I open water fish almost more than I ice fish, but I, I love ice fishing. It's one of my favorite passions. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been using their rods for a long time. And I, it was one of those things where I used them so much that I was like, well, I need somebody to sponsor the channel to help me out so that I can always have rods when I need them. And these guys came through in a pinch and helped me get a couple of rods, not all of them right, right away. And yeah, the rest is history. Now I have a discount code. You guys can use DWS 10. So that's DWS 10. You can get 10% off all your orders and it helps out the channel now. So big thumbs up for that. Hit that like button for a discount code. I, it, I worked very, very hard to get you guys a discount code for this stuff. But today's video is going to be on this crankbait rod right here i know a lot of you guys don't necessarily crank or go bass fishing a lot um but one thing i try to stress with my channel is if it swims i want to catch it so it doesn't matter what kind of fish it is i'm not a bass nut i'm not a bluegill nut I'm, okay i lied i'm a bluegill nut <laughs> those guys those of you guys that aren't new here know that i love chasing giant bluegill that'll be coming soon enough um but yeah I got this rod, I forgot, I got it I think in February last year. I got a good chance to put a, a ton of time behind it. Those of you guys that know, know I don't just get a rod and go, look at this, it's so perfect, it's special, and I never used it. Uh, those of you guys that have been paying attention to those bass videos, I, I actually have it tied up. I'm not going to lie, I've been trying to go out bass fishing and the water has been freezing and they don't like playing when it's really cold. They will bite, some of you guys are masters, I need to learn the ways of the Jedi because when it's really cold, it's really hard to get them to bite. But either way, I put this thing to it, uh, through its test, uh, paces and whatnot, and I really want to get a good chance at talking to you guys about what I like about it, what I, I kind of don't like about it, uh, and some things I might change for the future. I'm actually thinking about getting another one uh, for bigger cranks. I'm going to get very specific. So this one is, let me get it down if I remember. Okay, so yeah, this one is my Apex 7 foot. And this one's a medium, so it's got the, you can throw the quarter ounce to five eighths ounce uh, lures on this one. I'm going to set this right here for a minute. And uh, yeah, that one, it, I specifically got it for smaller baits and shallower bodies of water, because I like fishing in a lot of shallow bodies of water. So let's uh, let's sit down and go over this thing. And then obviously, like I said before, or I don't know if I said it but, rambling at this point if you're looking for ws merch i picked up or i made some some water water jugs this year so this one's got the straw on it stay hydrated that's actually the line so if you guys go on uh if you go down in the description you go to my merch store it's the stay hydrated line and then uh, for you guys that do drink coffee i don't actually drink coffee often uh I put hot chocolate in here a lot <laughs> but i made a tumbler for you guys it's got that spill proof lid that you can you can close it it's kind of neat something else and i have a lot of other things coming um those of you guys that were around last year i have these little tackle bags they're kind of like a, a denim but they have this really nice brass zipper on them been using those for plastics and whatnot enough about the merch if you guys want to check it out it's always in the description below but Let's get back to the cranking rod. Though you got those of you guys that like bass fishing, I think you're gonna like that rod. It's I'm gonna go into the details on what I love about it the most first, and then I'll kind of go over some of the negative things that I've been experienced with it. But it might just be my problem because I'm kind of coming back into bass fishing again. So let's get into it. Okay, so I don't really have a ton of room in here, so I will get that down in a second and show you guys uh, what I'm talking about specifically. Um, I actually, I'm going to have to get down and show you guys anyways, because like one of the things, and maybe you guys can comment below. So if you are a bass nut, I don't have anything against you. I I love chasing bass too when I get the urge to. So comment below if I mention something that's like a negative and you're like, it's supposed to do that or it's supposed to be that way or this is something you can do to make it better. Please comment below. This whole channel is meant to help people learn 
get better at things. And that includes me. I want to get better at things too. I want to, I want to fish and have fun fishing because the better I get at fishing, the more fish I catch, the more fun it is. Okay. So one of the things, and like I said, I, I'm pretty sure this is all stuff that <laughs> like you guys are going to know. Um, so with the tip on these things, this medium is super light. Like it stays loaded up. Um, I know from experience for the year that that is a big thing that helps you guys out or helps you out. Um, when you're cranking, if it stays loaded, um, one of the things like I like it for is like when I'm fishing like a foot and a half to three feet of water with these really shallow cranks, um, bouncing them off of rocks and stuff like that. I can feel every single rock because it's already loaded. So the tension is already in it and I can feel it through the handle. I don't know if that's like a normal thing. Like, I don't know if the crank rods are normally feel rods, but a big thing that I like about that is that when it's loaded up like that, literally when a fish grabs it, you just have to give it a little pull and they're usually on like, and it's been pretty, pretty spot on every time. Like I very seldomly, I feel a fish hit the bait and I lose them. Like that's my new favorite thing about cranking. I don't know what you guys like about it, but that's one of my favorite things about cranking. So that's one thing I love about this rod is the medium on it is a fairly, you know, it's got, it's a fairly deep bend. I can show you guys. So this is one of the lures that I've been using. Uh, I used it all last year. Um, I started using it in the spring. So this is the man's baby minus one. I don't work with these guys. I just I talk about the lures and stuff I use and if you guys use them better but uh yeah you can see I don't know if you can see that see if it'll focus on there so this is all banged up from just running across uh rocks and stuff like that but one of my favorite things to do is fish this like I said in about a foot foot and a half water two feet of water uh when the fish are real shallow when it's cold and uh yeah so far this has been just a great thing Okay, so another thing that I've been enjoying uh, a lot about this rod is, I don't know if you guys can see that there, it's kind of kind of hard to see, but like where the rod comes through here um, to the reel seat, there it is, you can see the reel seat. So like where this sits on it, so I'm running, uh, this is a Corrado DC 151 XG, it's a pretty high gear ratio, it's an 8.5 gear ratio. Um, a lot of people will be like, that's too fast or whatever. I wanted something that if I was wanting to crank something really fast, I didn't have to crank too hard. You can always slow down fairly easy. It's hard to get going really quick. So that was my theory behind that. But yeah, the handle on this thing, everything so far ergonomically, I, I don't have giant hands by any means. So ergonomically for fishing, this has been a really comfortable setup. Um, another big tip or a big top feature that I love about this whole thing, this whole thing is like i mean this is an expensive reel on it um but with this rod this reel the balance point is really good and it doesn't weigh anything like i'm i'm literally pinching this whole thing with two fingers so that's that's an awesome feature that i love about this thing this reel is i don't know if you guys can afford to get a 151 xg just just do it but i I'm not sponsored by Shimano. I would love to work with them, but uh, that's probably not going to happen anytime too, anytime soon. So I'm not going to hold my breath. But uh, yeah, I will buy these reels probably for the rest of my life. It's, gonna, it's just it's just one of those reels that makes things makes life a lot easier. Okay, so another feature that I like, and it's kind of like part of the uh, like and dislike. Uh, you guys will have to comment below. Like I said, if you're used to bass fishing, if you if you're looking for a new rod and like you're just like trying to check this out for a new rod for yourself, um, and you know a lot about cranking rods, especially ones meant for like smaller baits and stuff like that. One of the things I like about this thing is if I get this to load up properly when I go to cast, I can rocket that little bait a mile. And that's something that I was like stressing about because like this is so I'm running 20 pound P line on here. Uh, it's like a floral clear, uh, I forgot what they call it. It's like floral carbon coated poly something, whatever. It's it's a copolymer, so it's both. It's floral carbon and it's mono. Um, but it's 20 pound. I'm, I'm running 20 pound because I fish a lot of places where there's northern pike and I just don't want to get bit off. I don't have enough money to buy lures on a regular basis. So that's something that I'm trying to keep in mind when I put line on stuff. 
but I was worried because when you have a light rod and heavy line, those of you guys that know, a light rod and heavy line don't usually go together very well. Like a lot of times, like with my spinning rods, if I have like a heavy rod and light line, it's just not going to cast. It's just, it will, but it, like you'll get bird's nest. And that's with, with the bait caster, I was worried about getting um, backlashes and stuff like that. With this, if I get it to load just right, I can rock it at a country mile. On the same hand, if I can't get it to load right, so if I don't have the bait hanging at the exact right uh, distance away from the end of the rod, and I don't get it to load perfectly when I cast, I get a backlash. And that's even with the Corrado. So, like, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I'm not waiting long enough. Um, I'm still learning how to use this. Again, like I said, this is me coming back to bass fishing. So the biggest thing here is it's it's kind of like a moot point to me because I know that I just probably need to just try harder and, like, take time and learn how to do it. But for you guys that are looking for a good rod and you know how to get it to load up like that, it'll take that little lure, which I took off because I was going to get hooked. It'll take a little, little tiny crank like this guy, and I can throw this crank probably, I don't know, 80 yards like conservatively and that's like with wind or into wind it doesn't doesn't even matter this thing just goes flying and it's not i mean it's not that heavy it's got some it's got some rattles in it so it'll it'll go but if you guys know what i'm talking about you know but so far right now uh all the key points to it i haven't had any problem with my rod guides um i haven't had any problems with like where i'm hooking up my bait like i said the feel on it's kind of amazing uh oh one of the things and i don't know if there's anything i can do about this but one of the things that i tend to do on these cranking rods and i have a kind of an issue with all of them but like i mean this one's locked down now and i think i did it really hard no it's, so see i can just barely turn it i don't know what it is about this um this is the so this is like their base model apex from tuned up customs um and they get they get progressive they have a pro model and then they have the apex elite i was going to get the elite this time if i get another one because they do this is a plastic set ring or whatever they're called uh then when they when you get the elite one it comes with an aluminum one so i think the aluminum one bites a little bit better holds its it holds its place a little bit better but yeah i don't know if there's a way to like make that stay tighter or what but you know you cast cranks around I, I don't know, I cast a couple hundred times a day if I'm throwing cranks. So that's a problem that I noticed was like casting, casting, casting. It would get a little loose and I would just, you know, just tighten it down with my fingers and then give it one good good crank and then it would be good for like another 50 cast and then it get, you know, get loose or whatever. So that's just something that I kind of keep in the back of my head. I'm always trying to tighten it down. So that's just one thing that I'm going to be honest that I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if it's just like part of the rods like the way they have the screw down here built, you know, that's something that they did or I'm doing. So you guys will have to make your decision based on that. But like I said, I think, I think that's about all of the pluses and minuses. I mean, as far as cranking rods go, I've had a couple of them in the past and they were just, I mean, this is light years different than the ones I've had in the past. So I can't really complain. It's a good cranking rod. It's caught me tons of fish. It's actually got me some very, very large fish, which is kind of cool. I mean, that's, that's always fun when you get, you know, it's not a really heavy rod and I'm still pulling in some decent sized fish with this. I've caught, in, I think I got myself a 34 inch Northern Pike on this last year and it wasn't on purpose. It's just, it's what you get when you're cranking around and northern pike around so okay so hopefully that kind of helps make up your mind if you're looking at the tuned up custom line of open water rods i can tell you right now i've had a really good season last season on mine i as far as longevity i can't lie to you guys and be like yeah it's great for like 10 15 years down the road because i've only had it for a year but i only put that much time in on it because i fish all the time so my one year would probably be more like someone's four or five years of fishing i mean unless you're doing what i do and you fish three to five days a week um but at that case over a year's time i haven't broken anything nothing's cracked i've caught some monster fish that i definitely shouldn't have brought in on it and i still got them in um and yeah it's been holding up great i'm looking forward to getting some more of them comment below if you go, if you guys like the bass fishing videos that i do um 
I'm going to be putting out more of them because it's getting to be that part, time of the year. Pre-spawn is great. I love that. I don't usually pasture fish on beds, so you guys probably won't see me doing any bed videos. I'm not in Texas. I'm not looking for a 15-pound fish. If I am if I was bed fishing, I might get a 6-pound bass, a largemouth, maybe, because I'm in Wisconsin. But, yeah, you're probably not going to see me do that. So, hopefully you guys, like I said, like that review. I told everybody I would do that uh, after I got a full season on it, so I just remembered I should probably get that done for you guys in case you guys are looking to order some of those rods. Uh, like I said, use the code DWS10. You'll save yourself 10% on all orders. So, like, if you order 15 rods, it will give you 10% off on that whole order. So it's not just one rod that it gives it. It's the whole order. So go ahead, order whatever you guys want. Add the code. It helps the channel out. And then, yeah, you guys get a good rod. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, hopefully you guys pick up some of the new hydration merch. From me to you, stay hydrated this year. I'll catch you guys next time.